Paul Rudd, Jason Segel. What's the word? The word is quark. Wow. Whoa. That's not a word as much as a sound. I thought you were going to say, what's the word? A word up. Well, this was really fun. This is really fun. Thanks, man. How, Thank you. Hey, I mean, how much fun was it on the set to do this? It was super duper fun, James. Duper fun. Yeah, it was really uh, that was super. <laughs> it was a blast. It was yeah. a blast. How did you guys get hooked into this? Paul, how did you get hooked into this? Well, uh, the director and, and writer is a guy named John Hamburg, uh, who I've known for about 10 years or so. He's a friend of mine, though we've never worked together. Uh, Jason and John had worked together on Undeclared. 10 years ago. Um, and so John sent us the script and we all had lunch and then we talked about it and I think we all, like both Jason and I really liked it and were super enthusiastic about, uh, super duper enthusiastic <laughs> about um, working together and working on the movie and, um, and that's how it happened. We had done three movies, uh, two movies at that point together. And knocked up, we didn't have much personal time. And in Sarah Marshall, we, you know, he was there for about two weeks, but the idea of doing a full movie with Paul Rudd is actually, I'm not being sarcastic, was a real dream come true for me. Because no, I think he's one of the most gifted no. actors in the world. So, so you, you actually Jason. do love you, man, don't you? Uh, I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got me started on something, Jason. You, you, you started something. The next open house with food, I'm going to. Dude, it's such a good move because there's usually just a delicious deli spread you got a charcuterie platter. Usually there's some cheese. Ooh. Yeah, I like a nice charcuterie <laughs> you platter. You do like a nice charcuterie. He does like his, your, your charcuterie. You know, it's sometimes you're hungry and you think, I need a full meal. And then you arrive someplace and there's a charcuterie platter. And I'm just like, you uh -huh. know, I didn't need a full meal. All I needed was a couple pieces of salami. Yeah, I'm going to get a full meal if I go to one of these. There you things. go. You can. Pick out the right one and you can really, you don't need to go to a restaurant <laughs> yeah. at all. You can get a full turkey dinner. You know, the other thing that I started doing is I'm going to start watching everybody's posture now to see if they're tight and holding. Clenching? <laughs> Clenching, yes. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, we actually did a shot where uh, the, it, through a series of, like, rigs and pulleys, I'm not kidding, uh, <laughs> you saw some pa the pants go out. <laughs> oh, man. It and it gross, was so man. gross. <laughs> And hilarious, <laughs> but like, didn't really belong in the. It was like another movie, it, oh, but my gosh. God, I was. Cr we were crying. It was more like out of Sophie's Choice or something. It was a bit more like Sophie's Choice. Yeah. With, yeah. <laughs> well, with with the you two working on the set together and doing this movie, any practical jokes, any ad libbing going on in this movie? Well, <clears throat> there was certainly some ad libbing. Yeah, and there was a lot of like. Uh, a lot of laughing. I mean, you know, there were hours and hours of, of unusable footage. Uh, uh -huh. Particularly, like, for me, I got, I couldn't, I couldn't kind of keep it together met several times. Practical jokes, not, do we have any practical jokes? The one, when I was sleeping. Oh, what did you do to him when he was sleeping? Oh, yeah. What did you do? Well, well, there's also the one at the urinal. Yeah. Uh, one time you know I, was really I'm not gonna feeling, stop I was really not feeling well. And so uh, I went into the bathroom and there was a urinal and Paul came up uh, to the one next to me and pulled down his pants and underwear like a little boy, you know, to go to the bathroom. And so I started laughing and then I walked out of the bathroom because I was done. And then uh, just a stranger walked in. And, and caught the process put, of me pulling my pants up at a urinal. And he was totally oh, freaked out. Oh, now see, that's another thought right there. That's a whole new movie. That's taking I Love You Man a little bit too far. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for St. Louis. <laughs> Guys, thank you for being on First Look. Paul Rudd, Jason Siegel, thank you so much. I'm going to tell everybody they got to go see it. If nothing else, free food and farts. Hey, <laughs> the three Fs. That was the original title. The three Fs. <laughs> Free food and farts, okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank